the Linux community has a big problem, and that problem seems to be that there's a small portion of the community, and I'm talking just a few people, that seem to think that if you criticize Linux, you're anti-Linux. And they th seem to have this idea that Linux is perfect and that there are no flaws, and if you point out the flaws or if you say something that's against Linux in some way that you're just, you're not worthy of using Linux or something. I don't know. It's a dumb argument, and I'm pretty sure that we've all come across these people. There's these people that just think that Linux is this fantastic operating system that never has anything wrong with it, and if you experience problems, it's you that caused it, not Linux itself. And I will be the first to say that there are user-caused errors in Linux. There's user-caused errors in every operating system. Everybody makes mistakes. There's not a single perfect person out there. And there's no one out there who can say that they've had a flawless computing experience their entire lives. Everyone's had a problem no matter what operating system you're using because there's not a perfect operating system. And whether the errors that you experience are because of something that you did or because of something that came through because of an update or whatever, your operating system experience is at some point along the line going to experience a hiccup. It's just going to happen. It's the nature of the universe. Shit happens. The problem is, is that there's a small number of people in the Linux community that don't think this way. They think that if you point out something that is flawed in Linux, or that you think is flawed in Linux, that you're anti-Linux, that you're not someone who is interested in promoting Linux, but are only interested in tearing it down. And I hate these people. I, I, I don't like them at all. I think that they should be silent because they're dumb. I don't... It's the stupidest argument I've ever heard to, to say my operating system is perfect and if you criticize it, you're anti my operating system. I mean, first of all, who cares, right? It's just a, it's a fucking operating system. Get over yourself. It's all right. You know, just calm down. Go get laid or something. I don't know. I mean, seriously. I don't know what these... I mean... There's a stereotype of 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 the the standard Linux user being in his mother's basement typing away in a terminal, you know, and and there's a reason why that stereotype exists and it's because of those people, right? Now, let's just pause for a minute there. Like I'm a Linux fanboy, okay? I use Linux on every single computer I have that's mine. In fact, in my entire household, there's only one that uses Windows. And that's just because that person won't switch to Linux. I try every single time. And I just want them to switch to Linux, but they won't do it. Like I, I, I've tried. Right? So I'm a big Linux fanboy. I, I will be the first to tell you I think everyone should use Linux if at least one time. You know, Maybe it's not for them. They'll go back to Windows. But everybody should at least try it. And so I can't throw rocks at glass windows or whatever the hell this, the, frank, the phrase is and say that I've never been rah rah go Linux. You know, I'm I can be that way. Like I've made a video that says five reasons why Windows sucks and why you should use Linux instead. You know, that's typical Linux fanboy topics for YouTube videos. Like it's there, right? But I'm also I I feel that I'm the type of person that can be at least somewhat objective about Linux. And I hope that I can spread that to some other people because Linux isn't perfect, right? I have so many problems with Linux. Like, it's, it seems like a wig doesn't go by where something doesn't go wrong, whether it's minor or big, you know? I, most of the time, they're minor problems. Then, you know, you work around them. Like, OBS fucks up. You know, it happens once a week, if not more often. You know, sometimes Pulse Audio will just, for whatever random reason, switch the default audio input and... I'll do a whole video, and it won't have recorded from this microphone, but it'll instead record from the crappy microphone on my webcam. I won't notice it until I'm done with the video and actually have to go back and redo the whole thing. Pulse Audio sucks. We know that. Uh, I mean, Pulse Audio sucks when it's bad, but when it's working, it works fine. You know, and but the problem is it's not consistent all the time, right? And pointing that out, you know, I don't think is a bad thing. I mean... <laughs> We know that audio on Linux has its problems, especially for new users. If you don't know how to go in and set up the audio stuff on Linux, you're going to have a bad time, especially if you use hardware that is meant to be used with Windows. You know, sometimes the, that hardware 
doesn't work well with Linux. Sometimes it does. It's kind of inconsistent. And that can lead to a poor experience. But And pointing that out doesn't mean that I'm a Windows fanboy. It just means that I think that Linux has some flaws when it comes to audio. Bluetooth audio also is horrible. Now, I will also admit that Bluetooth is kind of horrible on Windows, too. It has problems. The standard itself has problems. That's not really a Linux problem, but it is something that you experience when you use a new operating system. You know, it just some kind, sometimes kind of sucks. Yesterday, I made a video about search. I created a title and a thumbnail that was inflammatory uh, to get views. It's a... I don't know if you know this, but that's something that happens on YouTube. The, the algorithm rewards that kind of behavior. And I want people to watch my videos, so I create thumbnails and titles that have the chance to piss people off. and Or inspire people to click on the video. And I don't personally think that Linux has a search problem. I really don't. But I phrased it in such a way that I kind of thought it did. Right? I, the the search thing, it's fragmented. If you want to find a file, you can do it. It's just you got to use a certain tool sometimes in order to do it. Uh, and there are certain tools that, that I haven't tried, like FD and FZF. Those are tools that I haven't actually had a chance to look at yet, and those are, apparently are way better. But sometimes the topic of the video pisses people off. And that's kind of what inspired this video is that when you criticize Linux, when you point out its flaws or flaws that you think or have at least experienced even if other people have an experience though you're going to have some people that come out of the woodwork and criticize you for having experienced that flaw and this is what gives the linux community a bad name because when new users come in and experience these things because there are they are going to experience flaws with linux it's a, not a perfect operating system and they go to get help and they come across the person who says well this isn't a flaw this is you being an idiot uh, that's not a grand experience for new users. It's going to drive them back to Windows. And I'm not saying that the Windows community, if there can be said to be a, a Windows community, is any better. I'm not saying that because it, uh, it's obviously going to have its fanboys as well. It's just the nature of a community. If you have a community, there's always going to be a portion of it that are assholes. And I think that's the whole point of this video is to stop being an asshole. Okay, <laughs> if you're one of those people who don't like that, like it when Linux is criticized, first of all, unsubscribe from this channel. Okay, just <laughs> seriously, I appreciate you hitting the red button if you, if you were here uh, for a while, but if you don't like it when people criticize Linux, just go find someone else to subscribe to because I'm going to continue to criticize Linux all the time, and it's because I love Linux, I love it so much. I would marry it, <laughs> and that's dumb. But I like I use Linux all the time. It's my number one daily driver. I don't have a single Windows computer around me except for the one that goes for that one person that wants to switch to Linux. That's literally it. And I love window managers. I love working in the terminal. You can't ever say that I don't like Linux. And I think that that's the you can't love you. Loving something and using it and ha have being proud of it and all this stuff doesn't mean you shouldn't criticize it. In fact, you should probably criticize it more. You, sh you should be able to point out its flaws because you want to help make it better. Now, I'm not a developer. If I was a developer or a programmer or any of those things, I could focus my effort in going into the code and fixing some of the flaws that I you know point out. I don't have those kind of skills, and while I'm trying to learn like some Python and stuff like that, I don't think that I'll ever be confident enough to go into a Git rep a Git repository or and fix a flaw in a pro in a open source pro project or something, or or go into the Linux kernel mailing list and and help out there. I'm never going to be that kind of helper, but I enjoy going through and working on documentation for certain projects. I like donating money to certain projects when I have the cash. Uh, I've been learning Bash and Python so I can make scripts that make certain processes better for me and hopefully for other people. Those are the That's the way that I'm contributing. And you wouldn't feel the need to contribute if you didn't think that there were things that could be improved. And that's the whole thing. It's like I want Linux to get better, right? I, I think that we all want Linux to get better, and 
if you're one of those people who thinks that Linux can't be criticized, do you not think Linux could get better? I don't think that that's the, tr the truth. I think that even if you're one of those people who think that Linux can't be criticized, you've had Linux problems. There are things in Linux that you want to see improve. Get over it. Get over yourself to the point, get over your attitude that prevents you from allowing other people to criticize it. Just because you criticize something doesn't mean that you don't love it. In fact, it probably means that you love and care about it more. Because you means you want it to get better. You want it to improve and keep approaching that perfection that some people in the Linux community think that it already has. Like I said, it was a ranty video and I just needed to get this off my chest. Uh, Linux is awesome, but it could be awesomer. Not a word. But it's not going to get that way if we can't point out the flaws. So that is it for this video. If you have thoughts on my rant, you can leave those in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe unless you're one of those people that are uh, anti-Linux criticism. I suppose then you shouldn't subscribe. You should go elsewhere. Um, everybody else, you should definitely subscribe because there's much more of this kind of ranty content on the channel. Every once in a while, I just have to get pissed off about something. And uh, YouTube is my medium. It's my canvas where I can paint my... Uh, utter rage. So uh, you can also so follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. You can subscribe to all of the other stuff that I do. Discord, Mastodon. I'm sure there are other things in the video description that I've forgotten about that are, I, I signed up for at some point, And you should follow me there. Uh, all those links will be in the video description. So before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank a few fine people. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too. Patrick L. Primus, Marcus, Meglin, Jackson, Tool, Steve A., Sid A., Mitchell, Art Center, Amateus, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J Dog, the BSDs, Rock, Computer Ray. Thanks all of you guys for your support. I truly appreciate it. I really do. Um, I, I have no words to say how thankful I am for everyone who has supported me on Patreon. And even those of you who haven't supported me on Patreon, uh, I, I appreciate you as well, even though I told some of you to unsubscribe. I appreciate you guys too. Just, um, criticize Linux, okay? Anyways, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.